Hello. Uh, so today we're answering a question by Dai P. Uh, and this is question is asking, for the quadratic function defined, uh, write the function in the form of p of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k, b, give the vertex of the parabola, and c, graph the function. And the function that we're working with here is 2x squared minus 6x minus 7. And so uh, for our first portion, for part a, this is basically asking us to put it into vertex form. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be starting off with our equation, uh, 2x squared minus 6x minus 7, and we want to put it into that p of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k format. So normally what I like to do, just to start, we are going to go about this by uh, completing the square. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to replace that p of x with a 0. Once we do that, uh, after we replace the p of x with a 0, we'll get all of our terms involving x or x squared onto one side and our constant onto the other. What this means is that we're just adding 7 to both sides. And then after that, uh, we're going to be factoring out the coefficient of the x squared term uh, from the left-hand side. So this is going to leave us with 2 times x squared minus 3x, and there's a blank, is equal to 7. What this means is that um, all we have to do is we just take this term, we, which is, in this case is negative 3, we divide it by 2, and then we square it. So what this translates to is if we have negative 3 halves squared, that's going to equal 9 fourths. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add that in this little blank space that we left for ourselves. Now, anything that you do to one side of the equation has to be reflected on the other side of the equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this 9 fourths, we're going to multiply it by our coefficient of 2, and we're going to and that's going to give us 9 fourths times 2 is equal to 9 halves. And we're going to add that to the other side of the equation, so plus 9 halves. Now, this, therefore, is going to become uh, 2 times x squared minus 3x plus 9 over 4 is equal to 7 plus 9 halves. And that just means that we're going to add 7 and 9 halves together, and that's going to give us 23 over 2. At this point, what we're going to do is we are going to um, factor out this polynomial here. And to factor out that polynomial here, all you do is you take the square root of this term here and then slap on whatever sign is out in front here. So in this, and this only works for a perfect square, which is what we've established here, I should note. Um, so we just take the square root of 9 fourths, and we take that minus sign, and we add it to there, and that's going to give us negative 3 halves. So what this is going to turn into is 2 times x minus, in this case because it's a negative sign in front of our 3 halves, minus 3 halves. And then that will be squared, and that's going to equal 23 over 2. Once we have that, we simply subtract our 23 over 2 from both sides, giving us 2 times x minus 3 halves squared minus 23 over 2 is equal to 0. And then we just replace that 0 with a p of x, meaning that p of x is equal to 2 times x minus 3 halves squared minus 23 over 2. So that's our answer to part a. So for our part b, uh, this is actually going to be quite a bit simpler. So our x value is just going to be whatever this term here is multiplied by negative 1. And then this term out here is going to be our y value. So for our x value, we just take negative 3 halves times negative 1. That's going to give us 3 halves. And then for our y value, that's going to equal negative 23 over 2. So our vertex, therefore, is 3 halves, comma, negative 23 over 2. And you can see this on the graph here, which is our answer for part C. And all you have to do is find two points, so for instance, here and here, for instance, and you'd be able to plot out your graph either on a graphing calculator or point by point. Uh, I hope that answers your question. Have a great day.